compiled a list of famous ancient Egyptian temple sites and will ask you to locate them. For each one, please briefly tell if a device that can levitate stone is currently buried or concealed at the location. I don't care about any other items of archaeological interest, just if such an anti-gravity device or similar ancient technology is at the location or not. Okay, first one is called Medinat Habu, Medinet Habu, an ancient Egyptian temple on the west bank of Luxor, Egypt. Please locate Medinet Habu on the west bank of Luxor, Egypt. Yes, we have this place. Uh, the question, briefly, uh, does any anti-gravity device or similar technology if this exist at this location? Affirmative. Where would be, uh, what would be to, to look for, if one were to look for it? To the extreme east side of the temple, where the round wall meets the square corner. Direction. Okay, anything else, uh, if someone were to look for this, uh, uh, any objects nearby, that would be a giveaway? Look for the color white in three different locations, not as a triangle, but almost as a triangular shape. This would be the vicinity. There seems to be on the wall and on the floor the color white and there had been some limestone carvings or engravings here. They will be in the shape of a triangle. That is to say, three points or three sides. This will be close in the proximity. You will hear the sound of water, but you won't find it or see it. Direction. So what technology exists here? What object? Remnants of that, it would be mica and a holding or measuring device. It would hold crystals, you'll say. Direction. Thank you. Next location, the Temple of Kom Ombu in Aswan, Egypt. The Temple of Kom Ombu in Aswan, Egypt. Please locate. Give us the name again. Temple of Kom Ombu. It's K-O-M-O-M-B-O in Aswan, Egypt. Yes, we have this place. Does any such uh, anti-gravity device or similar technology Doesn't exist? Doesn't seem to be. I'm sorry? Does not seem to be. Okay. Moving on. Please locate the Colossi of Memnon. These are two giant statues in Luxor, Luxor Governorate, Egypt. The Colossi of Memnon, these are two giant statues in Luxor, Luxor Governorate, Egypt. Yes, we have the place. Uh, same question? We would find this would be a place in which there would be some calculations and some combination of gold rods it would be adhered or fixed to crystal or crystalline implements, like wands, you'll say. There will be some remnants of these. They will look like shafts or spears, and they will have either a holder on the end, or there will actually be a gem or a crystal in the end. They seem to be lined up along the wall. These are important to use as they would be somewhat arm's length, if you will, controls for devices that would be huge generation of anti-gravity disruptors. These would be used in the temples in the pyramids in which you would find black smoke or carbon inside the pyramid. These would be the control rods that would as you inserted them or remove them 
I extracted them somewhat, acting like throttles, turning on or slowing down the energy flows. They don't seem to be connected with anything, they just seem to be up against the wall. However, they were manufactured here and they would be shipped to other places to the larger pyramids that were used as these power developing generators, you'll say. Especially where you will find water under the pyramids or chambers for the same. These would be the controls, like rods that would be used in a present day atomic generation plant, you'll say, control rods. Are these uh, buried at this location? They are up against the wall or they are inside a wall. We see them vertically. They seem to be in plain sight, but are not obvious. Direction. Again, to uh, find out um, what to look for if somebody were to look for these any anything in the area that would be a giveaway? In the corner there would be some stones piled one on top of the other. It looks like debris or fallen down. We can see space or light above us and looking at the corner there seems to be a statue carved into the wall or a miniature of the Colossus, you'll say. Perhaps one on either side or either side of the corner. This would be a storehouse or at one time a closet where there would have been a wooden and metal door, for lack of a better term, that would separate these. They had to be kept separate or they would cause themselves some interference. They are not like antennae, but they are or do have a reverberation or an impedance with the devices themselves. Okay. Direction. Thank you. Next, the Philae Temple of Isis in Red Sea Governorate, Egypt. The Philae Temple of Isis in Red Sea Governorate, Egypt. Please locate. We have the place. Uh, same question. Briefly, is there um, any uh, anti-gravity device or similar technology here? You will find a scroll with some plans or drawings on it here. It has been buried under a throne or a seat that looks like a throne. Although present form, it would be simply a chair shape but it looks like blocks one on top of the other. There is a scroll that gives some direction or some information in the use of the same. You might call this a schematic. It's in a brown wooden rod with the scroll wrapped around it. Seems to be in good condition, wrapped in some sort of protective papaya Looks like a simple rod shoved under a seat, so to speak, <clears throat> and seems to be dry, brittle. The wood itself is intact. This would look like a throne room or a room in which there would be at least the priest sitting on this chair. Not a decision chair, but a chair of high office. This was used at the times of hearings or the times in which there would be conferences, some sort of dictatorial, authoritative, once sitting in the chair, whatever was said or decided could not be reversed. And here it was a placement for documents, including this one, which of course would be the most important where it did hold the meanings, the frequencies, they would combine gravity, electricity, and magnetism in the proper proportions and in the proper vertical position. 
Interesting reading direction. Thank you. Next is the Temple of Edfu. It's spelled E-D-F-U. Temple of Edfu on the west bank of the Nile in the city of Edfu, Egypt. Please locate. Do we have the place? There would be several remnants of these stones as if it would be a piece of crystal or limestone broken into several pieces. This would be the container or the pot that would hold the active crystal influences, not the mica, but the crystals. They're scattered throughout this place. No real landmark other than on the floor direction. Okay, so you said no real landmark. Uh, if somebody were to search for this, is there anything they could look for? Is this like in plain sight? or <laughs> They would find these pieces. They would be ivory white in color, although a little worn. But they would fit together, and they would look like a long tube or jar. You might call it a column almost, or a cylinder type container. This is important in as much as it would allow the crystals to regenerate or to grow within the same, keeping their same shape. They have to be the same shape to keep the same resonance or frequency. This was important and accelerated crystalline growth with electricity <clears throat> and light. But here this is Again, as if it would be shattered and scattered, you say. Okay. Direction. Uh, next is the Mortuary Temple of Seti I at Naga Al-Taref Inside Road in Luxor, Luxor Governorate, Egypt. The Mortuary Temple of Seti I at Naga Al-Taref Inside Road in Luxor, Luxor Governorate, Egypt. Please locate. Yes, we have the individual. We have the place, yes. Any anti-gravity device here? One moment. The individual points to the wall, and inside the wall there is a carving. And inside this carving there is a tube or that it looks like a tube. This would be yes to the question it would be part of the device or a device itself. It looks like a bell shape, it looks like a flute. Yes, wide on the bottom and long and pointed on the top a flute-like shape, more like a clarinet shape, round on the bottom and vertical. It's copper colored. It's in the wall about 20 to 30 feet up from the main throne looking to the three o'clock direction and at about a 45 degree angle there in the wall it would exist. Could be you retrieved. Said, you said a carving? Uh, what's, it, what's it carving of? Something on the wall that looks like a human shape, but it is more like a hieroglyph. We are looking beyond it, inside the wall. Take the direction, set the angle and there would be the scene a relief in the wall almost barely able to see but it is there inside is a bright copper colored implement you'll say careful handling it direction 
Thank you. Um, the next is the Mortuary Temple of Hatshepsut at Qasim al Wahat al Karga, New Valley Governorate, Egypt. Mortuary Temple of Hatshepsut at Qasim al Wahat al Karga, New Valley Governorate, Egypt. Please locate. Okay? We have the place, we are below the ground here in the sand. Direction. Yeah, and yeah. Do you have any device or similar technology exists here? Where? What is the question? Any anti gravity device exist here? And where? We understand you to say, although the volume is extremely low, that. The same question, anti-gravity device. We are in the sand and there are cave-ins here. There are chambers or rooms. We believe this at one time held a large pot. This pot would be multicolored and it would be somewhat responsible for the solution and the mica to be manufactured here. There might be some remnants of this, but the sand is gray in color and seems to be unstable. Direction. Thank you. Now the Luxor Temple, east bank of the Nile River in Luxor, Egypt. The Luxor Temple, east bank of the Nile River in Luxor, Egypt. Please locate. Yes, we have the temple. Yes, uh, any entity gravity device exists here, and if so, where? It is empty. Okay, next, Abu Simbel, on the western bank of Lake Nutser, near Aswan, Egypt. Abu Simbel, on the western bank of Lake Nasser, near Aswan, Egypt. Name okay. of Give us the name again. Abu Simbel, it's spelled A B U. S-I-M-B-E-L on the western bank of Lake Nasser near Aswan, Egypt. We have the place. Again, any gravity device here? And if so, where? It too is empty. Okay. Karnak temples, a huge temple site which includes the Amun Ra temple in Luxor, Egypt. The Karnak temples a huge temple site, which includes the Amit Ra Temple yes. in Luxor, Egypt. We have the place. Same question. Here you would find a base unit or a ring in the floor that would be, call it the base of the unit. We don't have the device, but we have the dimensions being square with a circle in the center and a triangle in the center of that. This would be the formation or the basis and the right depth and level for the mica to be placed. This is important to get this dimension for then allow the top dead center centering of the device to be lifted. It gives the proper dimensions for the unit. This is not a mobile unit but it is one that can be mimicked or built. It shows the pattern of the device, you'll say. How to make it. This is in the floor. It looks somewhat like a relief in the floor. Square on the outside with some ornation. Circle in the middle and a triangle within that. Or triangle shape. More like a keyway if you would understand it. There is no device, but there is this implement in the floor. This was a very important center in time. Many dignitaries were given demonstrations of devices that would float in the air. And this was impressive. For this kept the coffers filled with funds from the priest and the pharaohs especially those that would be the gods that would be animal-faced, like dogs, you'll say. There were a variety, not just one. And here, this would be the temple of worship, 
more like the temple of control, you'll say, a central point. We've wandered from the instruction, but to give the idea that this is important, should it be ever assembled, this would be the place to assemble, that it would be from antiquity direction. Okay, so um, if someone were to look for this, you, you mentioned a relief on the floor, any more precise information? This would be sufficient. One okay. could stand on the thing and not know it, but if they were to look at the implements, from a higher height, let us say, if they were in the balcony looking down on the floor of any building, they would see it clearly. It has to be seen from above. Not too great a height, but that they would see the outlines, the shapes, the imagery, direction. And lastly, uh, on this topic, the Great Pyramid of Giza and the surrounding Giza Plateau. The Great Pyramid of Giza and the surrounding Giza Plateau. Please locate. We have the place. Uh, once again, any anti-gravity device that exists here, and if so, where? If you look into the Sphinx, into the altar, you would see there would be some indication of a reciprocal bell-like shape. Almost two bells put together, two speakers facing one another, two reverberating, vibrating surfaces opposite or facing one another. There's not much left here, but this is the chamber. And you would find this into the Cheops underneath the water flowing, causing the devices to cool. They would be within the same. These would be the generating points that would allow the ships that would float through the air to navigate like beacons there would be beams of, or channels of, roadways in which when the ships would come in to set down, they would come in on metal rails, somewhat gold-plated or gold-covered rails, but this is what kept the vitality or the anti-gravity disruptors like channels or supports or pillars you might say emanating from the ground this was transferred to these places and the ships would descend or the platforms more exactly and they would come to the ground level that people and cargo could be removed and new cargo and new passengers would embark. You'll find that in different places this would be seen as a landing, if you will, of these larger ships or barges. barges. And this would be somewhat of a generating place. The energy would go through the air or atmosphere. It would be navigational or directional energy, focused or confined. This would be a place in which it was produced. This combination of magnetism, electricity, and gravity, as you would understand it. The combination of these three allowed channeling, focusing, beaming, if you will, from one pyramid to another. If you would examine the globe, you would find the grid in the northern hemisphere, and one would be 
although dismantled or broken somewhat, in the southern hemisphere. It would be a traffic way without roads, you'll say. Combination of several things here. Direction.